So Elise is having her two canine teeth pulled. <laughs> <laughs> He's fun. You're a spy girl. Good morning. We are here in Kansas City and we're all together again. Jeremy made it safe and sound and we are actually staying at our friend's house. They are on vacation so we are house sitting and pet sitting and they live out on some beautiful property and we are just enjoying kind of soaking back into this town that we love. What's your song called, Nanny? I love Isaac just did something silly. On accident. I just got the plate out and dumped this and then realized how stupid it was. Sometimes we call Isaac the absent-minded professor. Yeah. Maybe we'll try a ball? So one of the main reasons we came to Kansas City was for doctor's appointments and Elise has had a lot of work done on her mouth since we've been here. So Elise had her expander out, left it out, let's see, and she also got two teeth pulled. That was a couple days ago, but we have footage of that. Mm -hmm. Should we show it to him? Yeah. It's gone. It feels good. Yeah. It feels funny. Now it's time for some x-rays. Yes. Okay, I want you to hold on to this for me. This reminds me of some challenge we did. What was that? <laughs> Hello. So Elise is having her two canine teeth pulled because her permanent teeth are kind of moving in in the wrong direction. And so they're hoping that by pulling those teeth, it'll give them the space to move down where they're supposed to go. Thanks, my lady. Sweet. I'll get the next door for you. Thank you. So we're wearing our masks into the office. And Elise said, now I feel like a dentist. Except dentists wear these to protect us all from their bad breath. <laughs> I'll be right back. My fingers feel tingly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are crazy. You're just giggly? <laughs> yeah. How's your mouth doing? It's funny. <laughs> Is it funny? Is that why you're moving it around? What did he do? He numbed up your gums. No wonder I feel so funny. How's it feel? Weird. Weird? Mm-hmm. I can understand you a little, probably just because I'm your mom. <laughs> you got laughing gas. I did. For some reason, when they put like this stuff right here, it it was so funny. It was so funny? I don't know why. How's your mouth feeling now? It feels fine, except for there's two holes for my mouth. Are they healing up okay? Uh-huh. Come on, Here's no! <laughs> <laughs> so our friends put up a big swing out here. The kids love it. I like when I do this for daddy sometimes. Me too. Because it makes me happy. You're being creative and you're working hard. Yeah. I'm gonna make this for daddy and I'm gonna make it so cute. No matter where we travel, no matter where we're living, there's certain things that are constant, and one of them is laundry. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. He's flying. <gasps> the man of steel. I'm a spy girl. You're a spy girl? I can see that. What do you spy? That's it. You they found go me. Like this. They go like this. Oh, yep. You look like a spy now. Our friends have a bucket of dominoes at their house. Oh, so close. These dominoes are fun because they're so colorful. Nice. 
We're having leftovers for lunch. Does anybody believe that's gluten free? I know, it is gluten free. What's your favorite part of lunch? Eating chips. Eating chips, honest answer. I love how you put the chips in the hamburger. Always. I'm definitely a chips in the hamburger sort of gal. While our friends are gone, one of the things our kids have loved, especially our older kids, is having their own room. So what have you thought of having your own room? It's amazing. Even though this is not my room, it's just so nice to have my own space and area. Normally you're with the little girls and sometimes they're a little bit more messy. Yeah. What book are you reading? Um, Mandy. It's by Julie Andrews. Oh. We have a bunch of library books and it makes my heart so happy. You guys know how much I love the library. The library here in Kansas City is not open for going inside and browsing at books, which is super sad, but it is open for picking up holds. And so I put a bunch of books on hold at the library and we drove by and picked them up. And now I'm in my happy place, which is Bookland. So I got a bunch of these book recommendations from a specific book list, which is Everyday Readings Summer 2020 Picture Book List. And so I just went to that blog post and I put a bunch of them on hold and these books have not disappointed. We've really liked them. I was reading one of the books to Janae and it was so good, I almost started crying in the book because of how touching it was. We just posted today our podcast with Debbie Sterling. She's the founder and creator of the toy company, Goldie Blocks. I'm sure someday there'll be a movie about her life because of how interesting and amazing she is. We'll definitely leave a link so you can check it out. Here is a hollow box fort that me and my friend made. It's a hollow box fort? Yep. Oh, so it looks like a stack of boxes. Yep. But it's a it's fort. Totally they have it here. Like, it's actually like pretty tall. Like, okay. Oh, there's a light in there. That's cool. Whoa, is this like a plastic protector up here? Oh well, yeah, that's what holds it up. So you built infrastructure for the fort? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That is cool. Yay. Caleb has been getting some Minecraft time what in. Is this? Really? this is where everything is controlled. Whoa, the control center. Yeah. And a goat. A pig, Dad. A pig. <laughs> Caleb, this looks awesome. Ready? Yep, let's see it. That was very impressive. Okay, let's start again. <gasps> it worked! Yay! That was awesome, Caleb. <laughs> Those two. She was a very good neighbor. Laura's been doing awesome with her reading. She's starting this chapter book. It's Mr. Putter and Tabby. And today I just got to chapter two. Yep, she already read chapter one, finished it. How do you like the book? I love it. This is one of our favorite games, Blockus. Head down to your bed, Laura. Just got Janae down. Hey, thanks for cleaning up your room. Please help me. That's so nice of her. Good night, Jay has out. I'm flying alone with the kids to Kansas City. <laughs> Do you remember Kansas City? Mm -hmm. Kansas City is awful. Let's go!